Like, you know. Well, they, they want gonna, you to bend over back, backwards. They're gonna love you first there. anyway, though. That's the thing. That's the na- that's the natural. Go- that's the natural name. That's the that's the progression of it. Is because what we have to give for what we want is is much more than they have to give for what they want. Like, and that's, they don't even give. I mean, they're gonna. It's it's redundant to say you got to give them to fall in love with you first. Any guy that falls in love with a woman first really is. It, he has low self esteem and all he he's having trouble getting pussy and it's it's the idea of getting pussy that's making him go I'm just gonna love her because I can't get no other pussy but no guy falls in love with a woman for her personality because we really don't give a shit we don't give a shit if you can't read we don't give a shit if you don't have a job we don't give a shit if you got seven kids we don't care we, we because we'll fuck a girl if a, if a guy goes baby I got three kids she goes oh my god mm-hmm. if a guy if a, if a woman goes I got three kids he goes well like, good that means you fucking are they, are they sleeping <laughs> <laughs> well was, are they, they adopted the <laughs> they not adopted well shit they're gonna what she's time you putting them to bed and then love is a thing that sneaks up on guys where we just keep a chick around so yeah, long it's that you go this is, a habit. she's a trooper and she just becomes a uh, yeah a habit we're we're, we're creatures of habit and, 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 yeah, time. And, and if you fall in love with a, a bitch first she she has no respect for you nine, nine times out of ten you watch a guy he falls in love the girl loses respect for him they feel something's wrong this guy ain't right something's wrong and they kick him to the curb no you ruin the challenge at that point <laughs> it's absolutely That's true right. man and it sounds it, off. it sounds fucked up to women but but you got to understand when a guy meets you think about what goes on think about it's like <clears throat> he's at a, he's on he's doing he's put his best foot forward he's like how he's being respectful how are you you know hey yeah, blah, he's blah. working for the pussy he's working yeah. he's working and they you know he's working but then what happens is you're starting to feel <clears throat> the thing here's the thing a woman needs to like you to fuck you like she, she the the thing that I'm giving a woman to to like me is the is the same thing I'm giving her to, to want to fuck me yeah. to want to have sex with me is the same thing like so she's like oh he's so attractive right, he's right. so set I want to fuck him and I want to be with him but a guy he wants to fuck you first and then it's like okay I'll keep fucking you and then he goes. Do I, like I think her? I want to be with her. You know, let me. Right. Let me. Let if me. If she does the right thing, yeah, if she does the right thing, then you fall in love with her. Yeah, well, good. Well, he's, a, he's, he's funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's like, yeah, you didn't do the right thing, and this bitch loves you. I love you too, I think. <laughs> he's about to say that. Right. I love you too, I think. All right, hey, Rob, thanks for calling, man. Hey, uh, who's this? Uh, Dustin, Arizona. Dustin? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I got, okay, here's, I, I'm just getting frustrated. I've been married seven years, yes. and I finally talked the wife into letting me sort of have a threesome. Mm-hmm. We're all three of us naked. All she wanted to do was kiss the other girl, eat the other girl, and I couldn't touch her. I couldn't do anything. I was just wondering if that's sort of in the right direction or is <clears throat> Yeah, it, yes, yes. yes. Let it, don't be selfish. I know it's hardcore, dude. <laughs> dude I know it, you want to just become a serial killer and just kill all the room and naked bitches, and you just sitting there. I know you want to do it, but here's, dude, the rules. you got to understand, dude, that the girls run it. When it's you and two women, y'all, they run the show. Just don't be a cock blocker until eventually you, Ooh, they can't help it, in. dude. They'll if one of them in. likes dick, that's all you got to do. I'm t- me and my girl did one. Couple of weeks. The, I'm telling you, the other chick was figuring out how to put two bullets in the back of my head to get rid of me because she wanted my girl, and I and I'm sitting there comfortable like, ah, okay, cool, hey, I'll just stand outside the room and blah 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 blah. But I know that when it's time, nigga, you they gotta ante up. She's not, especially your wife. See, here's the thing, it's not the other bitch's fault. It's your wife. Your wife got to, y'all got to be soldiers together, man. Y'all got to work this out. You have to go in and touch your wife because the other chick is going to do anything your wife do. So what's going to happen is you come in and she brings you in. You start kissing on your wife. You start licking her up. And and, and the eventually, is, the wife is the liaison. <clears throat> eventually, your, your wife is going to start moving that chick in the direction of your balls. Trust me. D- let them do like what they're doing. Thing. It is, man. Yeah. Let the girls run it. I know you mad. I know it's like, oh, two naked girls. This is, you know, because a lot of guys don't get the experience of that. But I'm telling you, dude, just just, just jerk off on the side. Have your wife. Just tell your wife, look, show me a little something. And then after you, one of them comes, then you kind of got to make the other one come. And then na- naturally a woman's going to want to do you. Then they're going to want to make you come. Just have them lick both of your nipples. That's what I do. 
I'm <laughs> like, I just get stereo nipple licks, man. That's what I do. I love it. But, dude, I understand and your frustration. I understand it. Be patient. Let them yeah, come to you. Don't be too anxious. His phone. I understand. And listen, still if you're still there, understand that you cannot be selfish in this matter, man. Let the girls run it because it's almost like, I'm trying to give an example you're of, the dick like, in the room. It's, it's like, you got to be um, the dick in the room. It's like, you know how you go somewhere, you go to the movies, and you just go, I'm just going to watch the movies, but there's the popcorn stand. And so the movie people, they, the, the popcorn's $10 and everything's so expensive. Right. But people know innately, it's something about, it's something about when you go to the movies, you got to get some goobers, you got to get something. So if you go there and your wife is going there with the intent purposes of being with another girl and she wants to muscle you out, trust me, if you just stay, keep your dick hovering around... <laughs> Like the aliens from Independence Day, just in the stratosphere, <laughs> let your balls break off and <laughs> and float. You know how they go, uh, sir, um, the other one stopped, but there's uh, two more uh, balls floating around in the atmosphere. <laughs> let your balls float around in the atmosphere, but don't force it to happen, dude. I'm telling you, they can't help it. Yeah. Your dick is like goobers at the movie theater. They got to get nobody, some. And nobody <laughs> goes to the movies <laughs> for popcorn. <laughs> And go for the movie first. Yeah, you end up getting popcorn. Yeah, you want some popcorn? Yeah, give me a popcorn. <laughs> That's what your dick is in that situation. Your dick is just nah, popcorn. So don't be. This is what I'm saying. Ego. Today's lesson is ego, nigga. Don't have it. Just let it go. Let them girls listen. How ex put it this way? How exciting is it to watch uh, lesbian porn? You know, you watch two sexy women go at it. You sit there and you beat off. You don't get mad if they don't say, wait a minute. Wait, I think what's, there's a guy it? watching. <laughs> Come here to the TV. You go like, what the fuck? Just, it, just know that all your senses, you got, you can smell it happening. You can, it's your sheets. It's your bed. It's like, wow. It's just, let it happen, dude. Let what's, it what's happen. The, the three rules of threesomes. Who going with? Let your girl <laughs> set it up. Let your girl set. This let nigga know. Let your girl set it up. Don't be too anxious about how. Just don't be too excited about who she picked. <laughs> and don't fuck the other bitch and don't when fuck she's the not bitch. looking. <laughs> and don't fuck the bitch after the threesome. <laughs> don't don't spoon the other bitch and tell your girl to go in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you can't love the other bitch. Oh my god. Um. Uh. Uh. Let's go to. Uh, oh, let's go to my boy Jerry. Man, damn. Jerry. Yo, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? You gotta, you gotta come in, and do one of these days, man, and hang. Is this the man? Yeah, I know. This is my boy from Kinetic. This oh, is yeah, dude. This, this is too. Yeah, this yeah, 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 yeah I'm living the life. You should. You gotta come in one of these days with the with the family. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta come in with the family, man. Jerry Big Love. <laughs> <laughs> Big Love Jerry. <laughs> what's going on, man? Was you? Did y'all do something today? Oh, you know what I want to ask you, Jerry. I, 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 do you get? Do you does it? Is it as um? Is it is it as sexually fulfilling after a while? Not as there. Like, do you always feel like, oh, it's two women in my bed, or it's just like it's it's almost like having sex with one now. Um. Yeah. You, you understand the like question? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah, it's kind of like having sex with one. You gotta. I mean, uh, I'm I'm the true pimp though, Patrice. I'm I'm I'm, I'm still looking. You know, I'm still getting some on the side, even though I got two women living in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you got to understand, it's all a Jerry. You got to understand that he's living his, I don't even want to call it a fantasy. It's its in guys. You got to understand, I, nature, I don't believe nature to make mistakes. I don't believe it makes mistakes. I think that what happens is what's supposed to happen. Now, I believe that if you're born, the fact that men are born, and I think the ratio, I think the ratios f f four to one, five to one, or something crazy like that. Yeah. It means that it's that means all guys are supposed to fuck five women. Because <laughs> we we're here to consummate and make kids. If if it was vice versa and it was five guys to one woman, th nigga, nobody be getting fucked. It'd be a lot of kidnappings, a lot of wars with each other, like pussy wars, straight up, fuck Iraq and all that. <laughs> it's just like we're gonna gladiate. Over some ass, right. and and we and the winner gets this chick who's probably gonna be locked up in a cage, <laughs> hoping that a, a a gentleman wins, and and not that nigga missing uh missing one eye, you know what I'm saying? And what happens is I think that the fact is that Jerry can. I always tell my girl I think I'm a good enough man to be with 
you know, it's work though. Be with three girls. Jerry, it's work though, ain't it? I don't think it's work for Jerry. Yeah. What's that? I mean, just it's to, to keep to it dealing up. with the to keep it up to maintain it to maintain the situation. I mean, it's, um, you're still dealing with two women. You're still you have dealing to be with on two guard with two women. But yeah, I think one. I think one is a lot more submissive. I mean, even enough. even if they're submissive, you're still talking about being that. You know, apparently he is this strong dude that. Makes all right, what, them let's pose. ask him. What's the toughest part of it all, Jerry? What's the toughest part of it? The toughest part of it? To, like the thing. The thing that's it's, not the. It's not. It's not pimp. It's like like I, I like to say that. I like to say the word pimp. 